right, we're hearing us right back. I know you're enjoying that royalty-free music right there, dance music. But we're back here on Tech Pulse, and we want to, you know, continue to get right back into that Nokia uh, uh, EOS that has that 41 megapixel, and we're going to show you a picture of it uh, right here. But according uh, to Nokia, this thing, uh, let, let, now, th this thing was supposed to, the, the camera that's on here was the uh, camera that they viewed for the uh, Nokia, the Nokia 808 uh, uh, camera that uh, phone that they had uh, a while back. Now this was supposed to be a game changer. This 808 phone. So let, let me just give you a little bit of uh, of how Nokia felt this phone was gonna was really going to uh, change the market. They said it had more color, more detail, more depth. So whatever you're shooting, your image will look better than ever thanks to that staggering 41 megapixel uh, uh, sensor, camera sensor with the crystal clear HD video plus pin sharp sound so you can catch all the action on film as it happens. Photography in their minds with this phone is getting more real by the day. They said you, this phone allows you to be spontaneous. You can do it with the lights on. Uh, having great lighting or even if you don't have great lighting the light is then whatever lighting conditions that you have that you're taking photos in they are saying that the pure view 808 that's the 41 uh, megapixel uh, camera um, the phone that was uh, debuting this 41 megapixel camera by Nokia they're saying whatever light you have the the uh, 41 megapixel camera uh, gives you consistently superb images quick shooting Pixel perfect zoom lets you catch every moment so you'll never miss a thing even when life is happening fast and in low lighting situations. So this is what they were talking about. And then also you could share all your the pictures that you, you've taken. Uh, you have time to show it. You could post your shot straight from uh, to your social networks right from uh, the phone and send it to friends in an email or share it between devices with a tap using the built-in NFC. So this camera, the PureView 808, was Nokia's uh, phone that was going to uh, use this 41 megapixel camera, but the uh, Nokia EOS was going to be the first Windows phone that Nokia produced that is go that was going to use this 41 megapixel camera. Now I'm saying Nokia is doing a lot of good things right now. They came up with that. Uh, uh, the, they came up with that app, the Nokia um, Here, the Nokia Here app that that lets you know what's going on in your world where you are. In other words, it lets you know what buildings are, are, are in your neighborhood. So if you're in a neighborhood and you, you launch the app and you hold your phone up like with your camera out like you're going to take a picture, it looks at the environment that you're in and it starts putting up names of uh, stores, names of like uh, there's a bus stop, if there's any kind of landmark or anything, it'll put a name right by it, kind of like having a sign coming out of the building, it'll attach it right there in real time to the building so you know what you're looking at, um, what stores are there and so forth. So if you're like in New York where there's like a thousand stores down one street, you hold this thing up and it'll identify each one. So if there's like a little cubicle store in there, like a mom and pop store where the sign, you really can't see it, boom. Even if you're across the street, it will put those signs up so you know exactly what you're looking at and where you are. That's the Nokia uh, here at the day uh, recently just launched. Now they have this 31 or 34 megapixel uh, camera that's gonna, uh, well actually it's a 41 megapixel camera but it shoots at a maximum of 34 megapixels. That's a game changer. That is a game changer as far as cameras on a phone goes. Now uh, there's no, no uh, timeline as far as when this thing is gonna be released or anything like that but this just gives you a little um, it just gives you a little idea as to what this phone looks like, but Nokia is really doing a lot of good things, and hopefully they have the cash to continue to come out with these, uh, you know, these good uh, updates to their service. Because right now, no Nokia is really, in my opinion, firing on all cylinders, and if they fail this time around, it definitely isn't through lack of trying. I mean, the the phones that they're coming out with right now, and the 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 um, the way they're doing it. Right now, and this is a picture of the Nokia EOS with that 41 megapixel camera. Now, it's still a rumor that this thing is coming out. That's the thing about it. It's still a rumor. Nokia doesn't officially 
Uh, they haven't said officially that this phone is coming out, but I guarantee you if they can come out with this Windows phone at 41 megapixels, this might be something for people who love to take pictures with their camera phones and people who love taking pictures and video, not just pictures, but video with their camera phone. I'm telling you, this is something that would be considered a game changer in the phone industry. To have a 41 megapixel camera, that type of clarity, because we are, we're used to 14, even some phones like made by Sony might have 18 megapixel cameras, but none has a 41 megapixel camera capable of taking images up to 34 megapixels. No, no phone that I know of has that right now, except for the, the, the Nokia PureView 808. And now they're putting that same lens in the Nokia EOS. So we're gonna see if Nokia comes out with this. If they do, these are the types of things they need to come out with, a series of things. You have that Nair, you, you, you have that um, Nokia Hair app, you have things like this with the uh, uh, camera, with the 41 megapixel camera. If they can string together a good bunch of apps and features on their phones, uh, or come out with a feature phone and, and string together a good bunch of apps and features on a particular phone, they would have something, and this is definitely a step in the right direction. Now, pricing, they haven't released that yet or anything, but this is a step in the right direction for Nokia. This is what Nokia has to do. If they're gonna get back in the game, this is what they have to do. Companies like Samsung, they have good phones, but nobody is really pushing that envelope as far as really pushing, and they're gonna have NFC in their phones as well, just like with um, uh, the Samsung Galaxy S series, having that, um, Galaxy S3 and 4 having that near field communication in there. They too are putting near field communication in this handset according to that rumor. If they can string together these types of and having a, a real flash, not just a reflective flash, but a real flash on the back of the uh, uh, phone to take uh, pictures, great in low light situations because a lot of cameras, phone cameras can take pictures at, at night, but it doesn't really look so well. The Samsung Galaxy S4 and the uh, HTC One both take great um, pictures in the dark. And their uh, uh, cameras are below 20 megapixels. So if this camera can come out, if this phone can come out with that 34 megapixel max uh, taking capability, Nokia is gonna start to be uh, turning heads. In my opinion, Nokia is gonna start to turn heads and they're gonna start to come back to where they were uh, a few years ago. That seems like a Seems like a long time now, but a few years ago, Nokia was at the top of the game when it comes to cell phones. So we got to see. Nokia just has to string together a few of these sorts of things to really take advantage uh, or to turn people's heads away from Samsung, away from Apple, and so forth. Now, speaking of a company that is, you know, doing things on the cutting edge, we have the Sony Xperia Tablet Z. Now, you know, anything that comes from Sony is usually high-end, considered higher-end uh, uh, as far as electronics and stuff go. But the Sony Xperia Tablet Z was supposed to be a waterproof tablet. When I say was, it was it's not that it isn't, but they tested it. Uh, the, the, according to a report by Geeky Gadgets, the Sony Xperia Tablet Z got a test as to its full waterproof ability and they put this and, 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 and it was both designed to be resistant to water um, uh, and waterproof and uh, the one tablet Z owner decided according to a report by Geeky Gadgets one tablet owner the of the Sony um, uh, uh, Xperia Z they decided to put the tablet through its paces to see how well it did in his fish tank and he uh, uh, posted this video on Geeky Gadgets and he also uh, put a picture up there. Now, the Sony Xperia Tablet Z comes with a 10.1 inch display. It has a resolution of 1920 by 1200 pixels. So not 1920 by 1080. This thing is really looking to have that retina display type image. So really high density, really high pixel, really high quality image on this Sony 10.1 uh, inch Xperia tablet. Also, it comes with Jelly Bean, Android 4.1, not the latest version of Jelly Bean, but the latest operating system in Jelly Bean. The device is powered by a quad-core Qualcomm APQ8064 processor, and it's clocked at 1.5 gigahertz. So it's not necessarily the fastest uh, quad-core processor out there, but 
it is a decent speed. Now, other specifications on the Sony Xperia tablet include two, meg two gigabytes of RAM. You're going to get two gigabytes of RAM and a 32 gigabyte um, hard drive built in uh, to the storage. And there's also a rear facing camera and that has 8.1 megapixels. Uh, the camera with Sony's Exmor R sensor. The Sony Xperia tablet features also has NFC. It also uh, LTE for um, you know Wi-Fi enabled, but also LTE and a micro SD card slot for extra storage. So it looks like uh, Sony in this particular version slimmed it down, and um, we're looking at uh, a 6,000 milliamp battery. So you're gonna get good battery life, and it weighs only 495 grams, just just a few pounds. This thing is not very uh, heavy at all. You know, um, um, it's only 6.9 millimeters thick, so pretty thin. It's thinner than their previous uh, tablet. So let me go ahead and show you this tablet uh, that has been dunked uh, underwater, and it passed. I mean, it, it, uh, the guy who dunked it underwater had the camera going and everything like that. He had the camera going, and uh, it, it, it worked flawlessly, no problem. So the Sony Xperia, if you're looking for a good tablet, now that's to say, now right here, you're gonna see, um, as we show you here, right here you're gonna see, uh, let's see, right here, this is the picture um, with the tablet and it's inside a fish tank. Right here, you can see, I'll zoom in a little more. Right here, this is the tablet right here and this right here is, this right here is the fish tank and it's inside. It might look right here like it's leaning up outside, no, but this is inside under the water and it's still on, it still works everything like that. Uh, uh, this right here uh, shows the tablet inside the fish tank, you know, and so this, this tablet uh, was waterproof, you know, and, and, and it stood up to the test. It stood up to uh, um, uh, this guy's test, and this is a, a private owner. This wasn't a test that was uh, structured by uh, the, 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 the people at Sony or Labs. No, this was a private owner who bought the tablet and decided that, you know, I mean, even though he spent big money on it, he decided he was going to test it to see if it was indeed waterproof. And yes, this thing worked. So, you know, I mean, hey, kudos to that guy. So we're gonna come up, we're coming up on another break and we're going to show you one of the most, I don't even know how to describe it. When you talk about workstations, when you talk about gaming, this thing right here, the Imperia 200, or the Imperia 1510 workstation. When you see this, this is the ultimate. If you're a gamer, if you're someone who just wants to feel like you're at the top of technology, you gotta check this out, man. It's coming up right after the break. So stay tuned, we're gonna be right back. Shockwave sound. 